there is really nothing cuter than watching little kids playing in the snow. Oh, it's just precious. <laughs> Goodness, that's just too bright. There's a view on the other side of the window. You can see why it's so bright. Happy day. That's better. So, oh, look at my cute. My sister got me this for Christmas. It's supposed to be pajamas, but like, I would just boil if I slept in a long sleeved fleece, but um, it's a great sweatshirt. And <laughs> I guess it's loungewear. I'm in polka dots from top to bottom right now. <laughs> Snow day, am I right? Anyway, happy um, Friday Reads. I just uploaded, well, I'm uploading at the moment. Happy Friday, happy Snow day if you're Southern. <laughs> and yeah. Happy first day of, now that's what I call summer readathon for me. Happy day um, seven. If you started on the first. Anyway, so I, like I said, I'm uploading my Friday reads right now and I'm gonna get some lunch started. It is 10.07, so I'm gonna get that. Got some salmon I need to bake up. And gonna work on my bullet journal for the readathon and figure out what I'm gonna read. But while I'm doing all of that, I am going to listen to Akata Warrior by Nettie Akorafor on audiobook. So I'm sure that this will fit one of the prompts somehow. So eager to get started. I read the first a couple years ago and don't know why I haven't jumped into this because I really enjoyed the first. This is middle grade fantasy and pretty cool. So I'll check in a little later after I listen to a bit. I just opened that door and you didn't like what you found. She was just annoying, isn't she? What's she doing up there, Mumu? Huh? Ask Mumu what she was doing up there. Mumu! Mumu! <laughs> you want to try it again? Oh! <laughs> I sat in the, the Discord thing for oh. like You don't want to go out the front door either? So then... Huh. New salad concoction, spring greens, brown fancy rice, salmon with citrus, uh, avocados, um, what's that, sweet potatoes in the air fryer, burnt carrots because I love them, Ooh, I cranberries, sesame seeds, I, I, I know and I mean. a little bit of raspberry vinaigrette and tahini. Let's try it. <laughs> I instantly died. So many awesome things. Oh, but then they won't mm. shot me. It's hard to get everything on the fork. Um, we need to actually find someone mm, who can good. realistically kill me to shut down. If she's by herself. Maybe a little bit more raspberry she, vinaigrette because I like it sweet, herself. but it's good. Mm -hmm. It's good. Now I gotta clean up the aftermath. Okay, baby, I hate to do it, but the tree's got to go. Dang. Right hey, babies. Are you taking knives? Are you taking little knives? <laughs> okay, baby, can you take the tree out when you get a minute? Yeah. Oh, there's a nice view out the window from this filming spot. Flip the camera now. So I thought I should give you a check-in of A Cotton Warrior. This book, I am just captivated. So this is the second in a series. I enjoyed A Cotton Witch, but I'm really loving A Cotton Warrior a great deal. 
I'm 25% through, so I guess the jury is still out, but I feel like if she's captured my attention at this point so quickly, um, I'm going to enjoy the whole book. She does a really great job of um, describing a very complex world, um, but just kind of on the go, so you never get bogged down in her world building because it's like a part of the plot, um, and you know hashing out the characters all of that is just so good and it's just so interesting so this is um a nigerian american family i guess that have moved back to nigeria um the girl i think there's two brothers but the girl has albinism and she also when she gets to nigeria um over time in the first book, she finds out that she's also a member of the Leopard People, which is kind of a magical tribe that pulls from all of the different um, African peoples. And so she has special powers. It's kind of like, um, what's that Marvel series? Like, <laughs> words that I know, Mut the mutants, X-Men. <laughs> Words that I know, just like when I need them in the moment, they slip my mind. So it's kind of similar to the X-Men. Um, like I think they can all transform. Like I think they're all shapeshifters, but I think they also all have different talents that are special to them. So this girl is also really, really good at soccer, which is pretty cool. So, um, I think this does definitely fit into one of my um, now that's what I call summer readathon prompts. So I'll go show you my bullet journal here shortly uh, and, and let you know about that. But anyway, yeah, so good, so good. It's very complex. Like as she's she goes to school to learn about her magic, but she's also in school, you know, in Nigeria, um, which is like culturally different from where she grew up in the States. I'm, I don't remember her exact age in this one, but she's in her solid teen years. Um, but yeah, now her brother's at university and there's some complications with that. I don't want to spoil any more for you, but oh, so good, so good. So, oh, oh, and one more thing. As I was reading this, and like I said, I'm only 25% through, but I can just totally tell that it's not going to end with this book um, but I hadn't heard anything about another one in this series and it's been out a while so I checked on Goodreads and the third one is releasing January 18th <laughs> and I may have impulse um, pre prepaid for it <laughs> I'm very excited can you tell so yeah and it's a kind of woman how perfect is that Okay, I'm going to go show you my bullet journal real quick. Okay, so this is my prompt page in my Hobonichi. So I wrote all the prompts here and I'm penciling in the books that I'm choosing. And these four on the corners are just fun prompts, not book related, um, reading wise at least. So yeah, uh, Too Cool for School is about cool teens. So that definitely works for Akata Warrior. So now I think that I want to pick another book to start because um, I've been listening to that one on audiobook and I want one to physically read for a bit. So let me think about this and get back to you. While I'm thinking, maybe I'll get some brain food. All y'all complaining about Valentine and Easter candy being out already? I'm not complaining. I mean, Cadbury mini eggs are possibly the best chocolate. Definitely in the top two. Actually, I think I'll make it easy and start a mystery for undercover reading. Sounds like a plan. So these are the mystery, pseudo mysteries that I have. Um, this is the one I was going to pick because I think it's shorter, the shortest at least. 
this one is too heavy for this readathon. This one would be fun, um, but honestly, I don't even, this is not exactly a mystery, but you know. I think I might go old school. This seems to fit the readathon. My very last Mary Stewart mystery, the ivy tree. Also, it has a nice summer vibe, don't you think? Once I finish my chocolate, I think I'll have a candy cane. Sugar, you know. Mmm, pull in. I guess I'll go for the ones the baby mauled first. Bye bye, tree. Is it not the day? No. I mean, I loosened it. Bye-bye, tree. Bye-bye. <laughs> I guess I got to sweep now. Y'all investigating? Hmm. Something happened here. Chicky, are you happy your throne's back? <laughs> Mumu's happy I swept and found her favorite toy under the chair. <laughs> she loves that thing. <laughs> Here we are. Just chilling. Ooh. The family's all here. Hello, I thought I'd check in again real quick before it gets dark. Uh, it's like 4.30, it gets dark at 4.45. Yeah. Anyway, really enjoying this. It's um, proving to be a fast read. So I'm about 50 pages in and our main character, Mary, is Canadian and I think her family has passed away, um, but she knew that she had roots in England, so she's back in the area that she heard her parents speak of so many times and kind of waitressing there and just, you know, I guess enjoying being uh, part of the past that she never knew. And a guy finds her and kind of scares her a bit. He's very intense, but she looks like his cousin Annabelle that he was engaged to. And Annabelle just ran off at 19 to the United States and never returned. They think she's dead. Um, and then this guy's uh, half-sister shows up at the cafe where Mary's working and it's kind of awkward because she keeps staring at her and then follows her home and tells her that they need her to pretend that she's Annabelle because she is like Annabelle's doppelganger and possibly is a long lost relative herself. Um, so yeah, super interesting um, and fast and I'm enjoying it and I'm gonna keep reading. Feels like eight, but it's only 5.30. Trying to start something shaky. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Uh oh, you gonna get it on the action, Mama? Y'all are bad. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> are you playing guy you are playing aren't you it's okay you don't have to be embarrassed to be caught playing with the girls More elf 
puppy. <laughs> they were. I hope they know they were very oh, much side kitty. characters in that game. <laughs> Is that a fun they game? They were just the side characters. <laughs> Five minutes. They are criminal. I mean, Mousecar did more damage than you, but they're stupid. <laughs> the Ash did 1,100 damage. Oh, wait, no, not 1,100. What are you 11,000. Uh, 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 you're a bad girl. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so bad. Exactly. We need to like get known for the bot lane. <laughs> we need to get known for this bot lane. Uh, let me leave my candy canes alone. Chicky. <laughs> she just stole a candy cane. <laughs> And put it under right. the rug. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I don't have a, <laughs> I, I don't have a camera. <laughs> well, I was minorly disappointed that I didn't finish this yesterday, but it is a 400 page book over. So I did well. I did well. On to day two.